This is a podcast presenting an aspect of relational trauma therapy, a trauma therapeutic approach specialized in including and working with hypostates. Relational trauma therapy was founded by Marete Holm Brandbjerg from Denmark and Kolbjørn Vordal from Norway. Welcome to this podcast titled The Art of Dosing. My name is Marete Holm Brandbjerg. Do you know the experience of discovering after a situation is over that you would have liked to say stop or ask for something, but in the situation you lost access to your skills, you forgot that it's possible? These experiences are known to most of us, clients as well as therapists, and they point to what is called hypo-response. We can give up in muscles, and with that, we give up impulses and emotions, just like we can hold back or control. Both of these strategies, tension and giving up, or technically called hyper and hypo-response, are solutions to challenges or stress. We use them when it feels impossible to stay fully present. How can we negotiate this loss of parts of ourselves, either through tension or giving up? With tension, we can invite the body to release or relax the held back energy. But what can we do when we forgot, lost access to, gave up parts of us? In relational trauma therapy, we developed a methodology to meet this challenge. We work on including and awakening hypo-response, and also the deeper level of giving up in the autonomic nervous system called hypo-arousal. We see this as part of working with trauma patterns, building up resources, regaining access to skills so it becomes possible to process trauma reactions instead of withdrawing from them. A key component when working with hypostates is dosing. Dosing low is a way of approaching parts of us that have given up, that have gone hypo-responsive, meeting them where they are, so to speak. If you try to rush or push to get energy back into low energized areas, it doesn't work. Doing something small, sometimes very small, can have a surprisingly big impact. Here comes an example. If muscles in the front side of your trunk, that's your stomach and chest muscles, have gone into hypo-response, you are left with a lack of fullness and presence in your front side, which often leads to easily getting overwhelmed or feeling invaded. Bringing energy into the front side can be done like this, And please join the following instructions if you want to. You can start out or we can start out paying attention to the body right now and to our alignment. Sitting or standing symmetrically, both feet in the ground, both sitting bones in the chair, is an easy way to invite the body into more presence. Then we can invite shoulders to relax so that our palms can rest in the lap and then let your palms meet and push lightly into each other. This will activate stomach and chest muscles. Then look for a dosage where you can do the little push and in the same time breathe freely. You can Go to a lower dose by using your fingertips instead of your palms. So let your fingertips find each other and let them push into each other. Quite lightly or very lightly or you can even go down to just thinking the movement, which is what I do right now. I do a very, very light push. Check out if any of these dosages work better for you than others in terms of that some kind of resource becomes available to you. 
when I sense my version right now, it works best for me to do it very lightly, use fingertips, very light push. That releases some tension in my breathing. I widen inside. I become calmer. And with that, there's also some kindness that awakens. I could also say that my body feels somehow safer. So see if you can find curiosity about your version. Did it do any difference to you? In your sensation of yourself, in your presence? And see if you can find words for your version. It's also possible that the exercise didn't make any difference for you. You may be part of a subgroup that would benefit from starting with a different part of the body. Or maybe you didn't find a dosage that really worked in a way that provided any resource for you. You may try to dose higher or lower and see if that makes a difference. Or maybe the right dose for you is just to let go of the exercise. Remember that you can listen to this podcast again and to this exercise instruction again. Inviting hypo-responsive areas into presence benefits from repetition and from slowness. So what is it then that can happen when we bring energy into a muscle that was given up? Hypo-response is a protective strategy. We give up sensing or owning impulses, emotions, memories as solutions to something that feels impossible to cope with. So when we bring energy back in, two things can happen. We can regain access to the skill and the presence we gave up. And through that, we regain some of our resources. We can also regain access to the information we left behind. Microactivation of muscles in low dosing is a kind and realistic methodology that can support both therapists and clients. It supports regaining lost skills in a dosage that can be integrated. And it also supports regaining access to lost information like memories, impulses and emotions in a speed that is tolerable instead of overwhelming.